so they started producing their wine and they wanted to come up with a name and so in honor of Stag's Leap because that's where John had gotten his start making wine they the second word of the name would be Leap and then I think they were just kind of drinking out of, of, of coffee mugs is how they, they would drink their and wine they still do today all, they still of, do all today. the employees and they, uh, and they, they came up mugs. with Frog's Leap and that's the name of their wine and their label of their wine and if you turn their wine around there's a little um, five six letter symbol that says time flies time is fun when you're having flies that's kind of their feeling about their wine they just all about fun and their corks say ribbit on it they have a whole theme going on with it what does and their wine usually sell for uh, oh gosh well their whites go for i think in the uh 20 probably 15 to 20 dollar range but the reds a little bit more higher priced higher. in the you know i think 30 to 40 dollar range is their mar uh, their merlot and they do a lot of organic farming although the wine is not labeled organic a lot of their farming is organic they're going to be selling whole foods they just sign with whole foods to be selling distributing worldwide and they also sell here right at uh, and they do they sell the rutherford right here they're delicious. Their wines are fantastic. The guy is a great frame of mind and really, really sounds like a fun man. And we really loved his property. It's all feng shui. The whole property is feng shui. It's really amazing. They, they grow fruits and, and vegetables as well that you're allowed to pick right off the vine and eat on your tour. It's pretty amazing. Definitely our favorite winery for sure. All right. That's great news. And Daniel and Eric, I want to thank you for being <laughs> here sure. live at Gabriel's Wines. Thank, thank you. you.